This video is brought to you by XR Hammer Gaming. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, XR Hammer, and we're going to be playing some Dragon Quest Builders for you. Uh, what I'm actually going to be doing is showing you how to build and the best placement for the stone stockade, which, if you watched the last episode, we actually got the stone stockade for completing a quest. And I mean, it was really good, really helpful, and it is really 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 helpful and as you can see right I sort of um, stoned stone walled half of my base I don't even know why I just decided you know yeah that'll do <laughs> and just sort of stopped you know typical me but yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of these two blocks here just so I can stick this right up. Oh, it's gonna be in midair uh... Right, I'll get rid of this, this one as well. And yeah, what we'll do is we'll crack on with it. How I'd like to personally place it is... Right, we'll pop it down here and just make sure this edge is at the edge of your wall base. Oh, your base wall. That would make more sense. And yeah, you just sort of set two. Always do your first layer and always build backwards. Always build backwards because it's quicker. Who knew, right? Well, obviously I did, but we'll not get into that. Right, and then again, we your second tier. And to make this, guys, you need 40, what are they called? Stone wall, right? Which is quite a lot, really. I mean, but they're relatively easy to build. And once you've done that, you want it two tiers high. And then you just pop your spike traps in here like this very slowly I should have gone backwards why did I not have enough right scrap that we're gonna have to sit, hop skippity jump back round here and make some more because apparently 10 is not enough so yeah let's crack on let's make another 10 yeah let's make 20 for good measures there we go beautiful stuff right Back round. I could have just jumped over the top, couldn't I? Out of a greasy mallet. Make a room just for me. I'm getting round to it, Pippa. Honestly, I'm getting round to it. Stop moaning. And the last one. Curb. Bam. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Right? And the bonus, the absolute bonus about this is one, you get your blueprint back. Oh, here comes Rolo. I forgot about him. <laughs> he is a funny man. But yeah, once you've built it, you can shape it in any way you would like. Right? So... Uh, oh, wow. By my elegant elbows. Wow. Wow. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, uh, yes, right, beautiful stuff, Rolo. Uh, ooh, weapons and armour. I like the sounds of that. And he gave me free fur for that, probably from his uh, bushy beard. You never know. And, yeah, like I was saying, you can just shape this stockade into any shape you would like. Absolutely any shape. Right, so let me just get that here. You could very well like that, and you could do the entire length of the wall. Right, obviously, I clearly haven't got enough materials, so we'll just go and jump back into here. Doom, ooh, LaRouche has got a quest for us now as well. Beautiful stuff, right? Uh, stone wall. Let's make a few of these. Beautiful. I love how he shovels in nothing and out comes stone walls. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> Who knew, right? Couple more. Come on. And we'll build two more lots of these. Beautiful. So yeah, guys, you can make this stockade the entire length of your base, if you so choose. Right? So you can literally just... Oh, wrong way. Right, 
I, I did not think this through because I could have just turned my base into it. Eh, I'll do that for the next video. Whoa, dude. Did I really break that mud? Wow. Eh, I'm going to have to put it back, aren't I? Right. And yeah, you could just go all the way across your base like so. Right? And you always want it to be too high. A minimum of too high because you want the enemies to work their way into it. Right? Because you don't want them to be, you know, a able to jump over it. More to the point. You know, because if it's one block here, they could just jump, jump, and they're in your base. No, that's not what you want. And when you spawn in, that little sign conveniently tells you that all the enemies that attack your base come from here, which is always nice. And you can double up, guys. If you want, you could double up on the spike traps. Yeah, where are we going? Just it, like that, so that they take double the amount of damage as they're coming up to your base. You know, double's always better than one. <laughs> Two is always better than one. Really, dude? Like, come on, leave me alone. I'm trying to record. Oh, wow. How did I get hurt then? Silly game. Right, let's uh, just go and make it daytime again. Come on. It takes so long. I want some uh, super boots. That's what I need. That dude never sleeps. Ken Elm. He never sleeps. It's like, I don't know. He's a... I don't know. He just doesn't sleep. Ever. It's like he's a sleepless warrior, is all I can say. <laughs> right. Now that it's daytime, and all the uh, horrible ones have gone. Do, do, do. Yeah, you can... This is how I personally prefer to make my stockade. I'll make it like that. You could, if you wanted to, bring it a block out like that, just for when you're... Oh, wrong weapon. <laughs> You know, for when you're doing your defences, it's entirely up to you. It really is. You know, you can have it one block out. I personally don't like it like that because it looks messy. And, you know, it's all about the looks. <laughs> and, oh, hello. I just wanted to get rid of that. Thank you very much. And, yeah, the stone, uh, the spike traps, guys, don't hurt you, which is brilliant. It only hurt the enemies, you know, which is awesome. And, yeah, that is how I personally like to build it. This is my how to build the stone stockade. Plus a bit of good placement, you know. You don't you could do it all the way around your base if you really want to, but you really don't need to. You know, it's it's entirely up to you. It's personal preference. I just prefer to build your defence up on this one side. You know, use your main wall because most of the enemies won't be able to get through it. And, yeah, that's all there is to it. And, yeah, I think I'm going to end the video off here, guys. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.